Shalom. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. All right, this is Brother Mayum. I'm here from GMS Tampa Bay, here with the brothers from Atlanta. You guys want to introduce yourself? Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, Come on, You know, so uh, we're just going to do a quick impromptu video, you know, going into a uh, you know, topic that we've been in the spirit here this morning. So, you know, Lord's will, this is edifying, and, you know, you brothers get those precepts. Or you can. You know, okay, well, yeah, like we was, like you said, we were just building in the spirit of. Um, of uh, scams and Esau's business tactics and how no matter how you slice it and dice it um, matter of fact get Haggai Haggai 2 okay uh, I said Haggai 2 Haggai 1 you put money Haggai 1 where no matter what you do with Esau's society which is this American system this beast system that's taking over the world um, you can't win because it's really a scam right and the few that and, and, and that's where you get what we call coons where you have jakes that be in that spirit world. Well, I did it. Right. I succeeded. Hey, because college is a scam. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, let's look up that word scam, too. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Look up, matter of fact, if you want to get that come on first, we can open Yeah, let's start out with scam. scam, yeah. Because yeah. everything in Esau's system is a scam. He's a scam. His, his he, he has He knows how to put his hands in your pocket and take from you. You know? Yeah. You got that? This, yeah, this is scam in the Adam Online. It says... Cheater, swindler. Yeah, cheater. Yeah, wow. That's it, cheater. Yeah. Like we were saying, Esau, <laughs> Esau scammed um, um, the Gad out of out of Manhattan. Talking mm -hmm. about, uh, he got the whole island or whatever but through um, through beads. Yep. Mm -hmm. Through he's they mm -hmm. through, uh, per, the purchase of the island was through beads, man. That's yeah. a scam. Yeah, which scam really just goes into really uh deception. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you're you're using the art of deceiving to to uh there's there's a uh, set, matter of fact there's yep. another another word uh called coercion. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, co yeah. Be coerced. This yeah. is uh this is coercion. It says forcible constraint. Um, uh, to control. Restrain. So, uh, co coercion basically goes into like convincing someone for a game. You know, I, like I'm coercing, I'm coercing you into into doing something by deception. Mm -hmm. You know, at least do that. Mm -hmm. He did it. Um, Esau did it in the early 1900s with the uh, I forget which president it was, but the gold, the gold act, the gold removal act, or whatever it was when they removed when they stopped backing the dollar bill. Uh, with gold. Oh, uh, Roosevelt. Was it Roosevelt? Yeah, Roosevelt. Oh, no. And then after yeah. that, what did they do? They 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 took the money away. They took the gold away, and then they they made it where you had to turn in your gold. Yeah. And if you didn't turn your gold in, you you could face um different type of mm -hmm. uh, um, um, charges. charges charges and whatnot. Yeah. And that's that coercing you into doing something that actually is not beneficial to you. Mm -hmm. Like we were just in this ride, and we were talking about just business. Just the fact that. You Esau scams us out of business because the very fact of all the the, the, the things that you got to do just to start up a business lawfully. Like right now, Jake is fucked up out here in the world with this COVID-19 and everything because why? A lot of Jakes are not legal businesses, but they make good money. Yeah. You got Jake out here that make hundreds of thousands of dollars a, a year, but they don't have an LLC. They don't yeah. have a, a corporation. They don't have a, a business bank account, you know? Yeah. Right. I got the uh, I got I got uh, one and uh, five. It says, now, therefore, it does say the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have so much and bring in little. You eat. That's a scam. Have... Yeah. That's a major scam right mm -hmm. there. Like, yeah. imagine. And that's how we all feel. Yep. We all go to work and we feel that same it's, way. It's never enough. It's never enough. You bust your ass. Like, me and his brother back here, uh, we can both testify to this if we Uber. You'll get up at five, six in the morning. Yep. You'll, you'll work till five, six in the afternoon yep. just to make enough money to pay a cell phone bill for that day yep. to get up and do it all yeah, over again. Yeah, it's so called, you, it's, go ahead, bro, you got it. Oh, no, no, uh, it's likely to cut you yeah, out. It's called uh, wage wage slavery. Mm -hmm. Where when you work when you work for your time, that's really slavery. That's, yeah. a, that's slavery, that's why you have, that's why Esau puts what's in place called the uh, minimum wage because when you're when you have a minimum wage, you're supposed to make X amount of dollars, but minimum wage don't cover shit. Yeah, and 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 that goes into the uh, you know of course the you know the different living standards. But now see, and the biggest the biggest and you can look this up just throughout history, the biggest scam that uh, uh, that the different kingdoms and governments have have basically 
you know, uh, uh, suckered the people into is taxes. The taxes. It's taxes because, uh, uh, first and foremost, like the brother said, if you don't, if, if you don't have an LLC or you don't have a, a, a certain business, then you aren't technically playing. Basically, you pay taxes if you have a business. Mm -hmm. But if you're not, if you're just making wages, wages is something that an employee or, or really a slave makes. You can't be That's a self-employed slave. Yeah, yeah. You can't right. be a self-employed slave. So, so you're making wages. Wages aren't taxable. Okay, according to the U.S. Constitution, mm -hmm. according to how they set up their business, mm -hmm. but they've also made it to where uh, uh, the uh, the federal government is ba basically the people has has willingly given them the power to take their money. Yep. Yeah. And in 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 a uh, 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 an exchange for services that the governments give. Yep. That's why these public workers and these public service members. That's why we say, well, you're a public servant, or you serve the people because of taxes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But technically, businesses take businesses pay taxes uh, or income tax. That's why they call it income tax. Yeah. Which in you the know? in the scriptures, that's that's uh, tributary. Mm -hmm. You know, the tribute you pay, basically uh, pay tribute. Yeah. Which I and I will keep going. Um, in uh, verse six it says. Ye have so much and bring in little. Ye eat, but have not enough. You drink. And that's another thing too. This food. Mm -hmm. This food is, is a scam too. It's, a, it's basically a bunch of fluff. It's yes. You know, it's no nutrition in it. Mm -hmm. You uh, you eat and it, you eat like I like give you a great example. Mm -hmm. Subway. Yeah. Man, you yeah. eat Subway. Ten minutes. You can eat a foot long sandwich with everything on it. 10, 15 minutes later, you be hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause this food is fluff. It's, yeah. it, it's, it's fluff and, and it's a big scam. It's all fillers and mm -hmm. and, 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 and additives and, and preservatives. And preservatives. Yeah. It's not even real food. Fast food is designed to make you uh to make you you know hungry again. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. you do. You had McDonald's what was that years ago. Mm -hmm. It was on. Uh, they had to go to Congress because they got caught selling uh, pink slime burgers. Oh, yeah. yeah. But but so you you I'm going to you to your business thinking that I'm going to get a hamburger or yeah. beef, <laughs> you right. know. Yeah. Right. But you selling me pink slime. Yeah, that's just the money. Well, a uh, quick that's testimony. Mm -hmm. Quick testimony on that. Uh, me and the brother Ash had went out to eat one time at a, a local uh, Beef O'Brady's, mm -hmm. and um, this is a uh, you know a bar out here, and um, they this one they used to have veggie burgers, mm -hmm. right? So we, we used to get them, and then one day we was asking the cook like, what kind of what's the the meat made out of like the veggie burger? Is it like uh, beans or? And he said, I don't know. The, the the box doesn't really say, but it when you open the packages, he said it bleeds. Wow. It's supposed to be a veggie uh, veggie burger, bro. What? He's like, there's blood in the packages when you open it. Yeah, see, that's like, a scam. And we so stopped eating it? after that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know, but see, and that's a scam because <laughs> yeah, when you when you like that's why the Lord said um, in the scriptures what you're eating. in the scriptures it said, uh, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. Because anything else is that is evil conversation. Mm -hmm. So your word is supposed to be when I a hey, you went you bumps. went for a veggie burger. Mm -hmm. So veggie burger was supposed to be given to you. Simple thing. Oh, well, black beans. Uh, da, da 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 da. Some onions. Yeah, Simple exactly. Shit. Exactly. It should it should be. Yay! This is what it is. Or no, it's not in here. But what happens? You, you look on the back of these food products, and it, and it's and it's million dollar words. Yeah. Yep. How is it that something like potato salad? Or something simple will have 80 ingredients. You see? That's a scam. And that's why we want the Lord to come back and destroy this place to establish righteousness. Yep. Because in a righteous kingdom, there isn't going to be any... We're not going to be scamming each other in the kingdom like... Sure. And, 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 and the other nations that's aren't going to be our, scamming that's each other. That's against the law. law. That's against the law. You know, um, yeah. going, going back to that beef shit, uh, it was a situation with... Uh, Wendy's, they they beef oh, yeah. used to come from uh, it was like 100 percent real ground beef, right? Yep. But what came out is the company where they supply their beef. The name of it was 100 percent ground beef. That's so they say bro. made with. They say made with that. Mm -hmm. But it's like that's the name of the company y'all get it from. You, you know what's that, a good movie? You know, you know what's a good movie to show you that? Uh, campaign with uh, mm -hmm. Will Ferrell and uh, this other Edomite. He sold it though. And in the movie, they show you the elite and what they do. 
and they were like, like what you were saying, they had a product that they were selling. And they were talking to the U.S. Senate or whatever. They were like, come on, man. You know, we need this product. It's, it's, it says made in America, right? But what they did is they went over to China and named the city America. Mm. So it says made in America. So you think, oh, made in America, U.S., the United States of America. But legitimately, it's from China. We have to say U.S. No, yeah, yeah, you got to. Yeah, yeah. You saw it does that. You say, yeah, return. Return. yeah, got it. So this is Ezekiel 4. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Ezekiel 4 and, and 10 It says And thy meat which thou shalt eat Shall be by weight 20 shekels a day From time to time shalt thou eat it So you have the food that you eat Is by weight meaning that It can change know, yeah, It can change you might get an ounce here mm -hmm. Two ounce there Now you know when you buy meat They would, they sell it to you by the pound That's why when you see oh it's a dollar Yeah but it's a dollar eighty per pound You might be buying a two, three pound piece of meat, three, four, six dollars, right? So it says, Thou shalt drink also water by measure, the sixth part of an hen, from time to time shalt thou drink. So you're not going to have the resources to have constant meat and food. You got to go to a market and buy it. That's what the prophecy is saying. Yeah. I'm going to continue reading. It says, And, and thou shalt. Like you said, that yeah, leaves room for deceit. Yeah, because yeah, these, these companies, like, uh -huh. think about it. You know, this might sound a little off. But hey, man, you know, you got to take things in the world to tie it in, all right? When, when Jake will buy weed from the drug dealer, right? Right? The bag itself has weight. Uh -huh. So then they're not uh -huh. giving you the exact number of what you're paying for because they're actually throwing in the bag as part of the weight. And that's what you saw it does with the food. You go to the farmer's market and yeah. you want some chicken. They're not going to weigh the chicken and then put it in the bag. They, yeah. The bag and all of those things are actually kind of part mm -hmm. of the... The container. The container. Like they charge yeah. you for they they know how to get money out of you in ways that we don't be privy to. Well they charge you they charge you for water. They charge you they you know yeah. that's that's a fucking scam. How the hell this yeah. how the hell this devil gonna charge you for for something that's that's natural they, to the earth. And they make it illegal for you to catch rainwater. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the that's the scam of they charge you for water, they charge you for things, they charge you for herbs, shit that grow from yeah. you know the earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they you know, they tell you the the rainwater is not good to drink because it's polluted with chemicals and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you won't That's drink it. Yeah. So I got. Uh, um, yeah, you got it. Yeah. So uh, now this is Micah six and ten. Mm -hmm. Are there yet the treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked, and the scant measure that is abominable? And that's basically how Esau has gotten this kingdom through a scam. He's gotten the he's the wicked. All right, you know, which are the Edomites, they've gotten the, the control of the world by what, you know, through their money, their conquering. And they've done that through through uh, 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 a false balance, okay? Right. It says, shall I count them pure with the wicked balances and with the bag of deceitful weights? Because a dollar mm. is a weight. Here it is, the mm -hmm. dollar is a res the world reserve currency, but it's no longer backed by gold or silver. It's, mm. it's, it's all credit and fraud. So that's why you have the nations being angry, being mad, and you're seeing these countries pull away from the economic system that they were a part of. Right. It says, therefore, it says, uh, for the rich men thereof are full of violence. They start wars with for money. Yep. And the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. So this is how they have established this kingdom, which is why the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is going to take, take everything from them. And you, you know another, uh, we were talking about it early this morning, which kind of sparked up this conversation uh, to do this lesson, but Uncut Jim. Oh, yeah. yeah that, that movie is a great example of, oh, sorry, bro, of, mm -hmm. of, of that the deceit. Mm -hmm. That whole, that two, two hour plus long movie is about them so-called Jew rats and their deceitful ways with the jewelry mm -hmm. on how they get it. The, 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 uh, you had the one scene at the end where he was appraising it. Yeah. And he thought it was supposed to be appraised for at least a million dollars for that stone. Yeah. And he threw a temper tantrum when the appraiser came behind him yeah. and said, nah, it's really only worth like 150000 yeah. Because you're leaving it up for somebody else's judgment. How are you going to tell me what my product is worth if it ain't, if you don't, if, if you didn't go through the problems of creating it, yeah. uh, uh, manufacturing it, Having selling it, it yeah. uh, uh, storage, you gonna tell yeah. me, nah, it ain't really worth all of that. And uh, all that goes into account. The appraised value, yeah. Appraised value, and right? So Esau, that's, mm -hmm. through force, through violence, has has 
he's the he's the one that judges what's the praise, what worth, and what not. That's how all the other nations are now under their control. Yeah, that's why we're mm -hmm. slaves here. We go to him mm -hmm. for resources. That's why you have a term what's called a uh, big brother. Because what Esau does is he tries to big brother everything. He he wants to be the middleman. He's like he's a bully. He's, he's a really bully. a bully, man. He wants to shake your pockets on everything, yeah. man. That's why we say you know he he don't like to uh, he doesn't like side hustles you know yeah. certain things that you might do outside of paying taxes they call it peer-to-peer peer-to-peer -peer peer -to -peer transactions which the mm -hmm. ultimate goal with the market of beast is that's why the scripture and the prophecy you know it's it does specify buying and selling because that's how you know what's this old saying to follow the you know, to get to the elites follow the money then you'll know who's mm -hmm. really in control buying right. and selling is their expertise that's the beast expertise yeah. scriptures say that um uh, was that in Ezekiel mm -hmm. that he's made rich by his uh, great traffic? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, so the market, thats their ultimate way of really locking this thing down. Mm -hmm. Once I get the people tracked and I can control how they how they get money and how they make money, oh, then I'm gonna continue on this pyramid scam. Mm -hmm. That's you why Esau started 1099 in people. Yep. 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 Because that because what is a 1099? You're an independent contractor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, and they basically say because you make your money daily without him involved, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, you owe me? he you are still gotta pay taxes. Yep, which that's, that's what that is. Which yeah. what is what is, like you said, taxes is nothing but uh, uh what a what a what a like you said a, a strong arm of like mm -hmm. like how like you said the original bully is Esau. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every movie you could think of before that before there was a Debo and that energy in the early nineties, you can you can go way back and see Esau. Uh, shaking uh, a little Edomite uh, by his ankles and getting yeah. his change out of his pockets and yeah. shit. And that's the elite, man. Yep. They just the do elite. it to us in a, in a distance, man. Yeah, yeah that's all they're doing. I, uh, what you doing on that to that one? Uh, yeah, kind of. Okay, I'll keep going in this uh, Haggai. It's like, uh, it's Haggai uh, 1 and uh, 6. Ye have so much and bring in little, ye eat but have not enough. Ye drink but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but because everything, mm. like we, you know, it seems like it could be repetitive, but everything in, in life, it it, 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 it testifies of the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Like the scam of drinks. Think about it. You go to a, a pizza place, a McDonald's. Mm -hmm. A small will be three fifty, three dollars. A medium will be three fifty. A large will be four dollars. Four dollars. But yeah. then you, in your mind, you be like, it don't even make no sense to. I might as well get the 30 cup yeah, because, large, yeah. but then if you work in these places and you see how, when you make the drinks, it's the same <laughs> drink. There's, there is no size difference between a small, medium and large. And all of these things are vexing to us, man. That's how the mm -hmm. old buffets, that's why you see a lot of these buffet Ryan's and all them you know, different, mm -hmm. they went out of business because uh, that's really how they made their money. Yeah. It was through really the drinks. Yeah, they, 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 you would buy the drinks, yeah. Mm -hmm. Buy the drinks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Refills and all that shit. Refills, yeah. Keep going, bro. I keep going. It says, uh, but there is none warm, and he that earneth the wages to put, yeah. he, he that earneth the wages to put into a bag with holes. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, like, uh, basically everything you earn is never enough. It's like a bag with holes, you know, like money always falling out because mm -hmm. we got a bill here, a bill there. Cars are a scam because they always fucking breaking down. You know, mm -hmm. that's a whole another industry in itself, mm -hmm. you know, because we were talking about that, you know, how basically Esau wants to cut out uh, uh, mechanics, mechanics, you know, people that work on cars because they want you to go to back, you know, computers. They want you. They got you got to go back to the company where you bought it from because they want they don't they, they want to get rid of. That's why that's why they're pushing that energy to market a beast, because they're getting rid of yeah, side yeah. transactions like, you know, mm -hmm. peer to, like you said, peer to peer mm -hmm. transactions. Where you know uh, uh, you 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 barter with cash or you know whatever they can track it. That's the they uh, can track it. Yeah, mm -hmm. what they call logistics, and that's what they call uh, blockchain. Mm -hmm. Like even if now let's say you do have a business and you do peer to peer, because you have the mark of the beast, they'll be able to say, oh, we know you because it's connected to your bank account. So we know you took this many debit from your you know chip or whatever. Mm -hmm. So then therefore. At the end of the year, they can continue to tax you. They continue to track you. It's all about you know them having control of you, your finance. Oh, you went through this toll road. Mm -hmm. 
a week, you know, like, see, yeah, that's the money. The mail in, right. toll road. You know, same, you know, you go to this toll road. Okay, we'll just deduct it from your chip. Yeah. What the hell is a toll road? It. Like that shit. It was four hundred. Mm-hmm. Then they got rid of it because, and that was a problem. They didn't want to take it down because they 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 had the four hundred toll in it. Well, we, you know, of course, we're from Atlanta, so that's a road in Atlanta where. It's a it's a it's a side road, and then after they raised a, a however much money they wanted, they were supposed to. The contract was to tear it down, but they didn't want to tear it down. Why? Because that's fifty cents every time a car go through both sides. Mm -hmm. And that, how many mm -hmm. cars was going? How many cars you think in one day yeah. travels up and down four hundred north and south? Yeah. Probably hundreds of thousands of cars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is that is, Esau is greedy. Yeah, they're greedy He's as hell. Greedy as hell. Like, like that's mm -hmm. to the point where he, like you say, he wants to push a chip to to keep you from being able to do something outside mm -hmm. of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do most preppers do? Most preppers deal with bartering. Mm -hmm. Yep. When we went to the mm -hmm. the um the Federal Reserve a few years ago, we, it showed us all the steps of money, mm -hmm. the methods, the methods of money, mm -hmm. and the oldest and the first one was bartering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, this brother has wheat, and and. I, I, he has flour. I need flour, and I got fish. Well, bro, I'll trade you uh, thirty fish mm -hmm. for twenty pounds of flour. Right. So you agree right. upon that? Right. Are you okay with those yeah, yeah, those deals? Yeah. That's why you deal. On it. Yeah. it should yeah, be yeah. just that simple. Yep. But then Esau comes in and he throws in this 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 fake money, mm -hmm. and then he makes it where you got to do all these back back door from the side deceitful moves to make money out here mm -hmm. it's off and the lord is not with it man mm -hmm. I, hey, uh, I got a precept so like real quick oh, uh, yeah. i don't know if you brothers have ever mm -hmm. seen that movie transcendence mm -hmm. you seen that movie mm -hmm. that's really like what esau is trying to do mm -hmm. you know have himself connected to, every, to you know to everything even the rain you know that get showed in the movie he was connected to the rain mm -hmm. the plants mm -hmm. growing the people yep you know, that. that was a Johnny John, Johnny Depp, right? Yep, Johnny Depp. That's what Esau wants to do, man. Mm -hmm. His plan is to is, is to know everything about you and have control over it, so yep. that mm -hmm. you do and move in his and in the way that he wants you, and that's to live a a, a life of a slave, man. Yep, right. Just to to do nothing but produce and and, um, and make money for them. Okay, this is, I got some. This is Deuteronomy twenty eight and forty eight. Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. And a nakedness That's and a want true. of all things. Hey, no, yeah, no. yeah, you know, hey, we brought that out earlier, yeah, because, um, like the brother just said, I was a nail on the head, you know. Yep. Esau, Esau, you got to go to him for everything, and that's the curses. That's really that boils down to the curses because Israel, uh, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you don't have sovereignty. That's why you're crying out, you know, with this whole Black Lives Matter thing because you're trying to own. You want to own that Black Lives Matter thing more than more than who you truly are. Right. Yep. You know that whole black, yeah, being black. You 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 niggas, you just want to be black so bad that you don't even want to see, you know, who you who you really are. Right. And to be black, the definition of black is is, is what void of light. Yep. Void you don't of light. have any understanding. You're in a dark place. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about blackness and darkness. Yep. You know the ghost people walking in. You know, uh, the people walking in ghost darkness But then when you look up the definition For being an Israelite It means he is a prince See, You talk about kings and queens And gods well that's, what, well that's what that name means But you're putting yourself under a vibration In the spirit that Esau can't control Because he, he Well he's the rulers of darkness of this world yeah. Well yeah he created you know? he created that term black all That guy um, um, What's that guy uh What's his name? Uh, I can't remember his name, but he's basically uh, he created the uh, classifications of the. Um, I understand. Yeah. I remember his name. You know, I yeah, I, I had to look him up, but uh, uh, I keep going. It says, and the nakedness, and in one of all things, mm -hmm. and he shall put a, a yoke of iron upon thy neck and until you have enough. until he have destroyed thee. Yep. And that one of all mm -hmm. things is, 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 is spiritual too, because with Jake, Jake is very ambitious. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and and when Jake's ambition and drive gets turned on, they'll go for it. Like we were speaking on different scams, and one one scam that gets millions of Jakes is college. Oh yeah, um, oh yeah. College gets Jake because of the of the of what? Read that part again. It said the the one of all things, right? Mm -hmm. Because why? You see, I want a nice car. I want a house. I want a nice. I want a wife. 
I want, you know what I mean? The whole the whole idea of what Esau the set up, dream. the American yeah. dream. I want to mm -hmm. be able to go on vacation. I yeah. want to be able to do those things. Well, Esau yeah. is like, well, okay, you want to do that? Well, I, you, you can go to college and become a whatever for $75,000 a year. Is that okay with you? Right. Sure, yeah. sign me up. Well, they need but they don't tell you, mm -hmm. well, to make that $75,000, that we got to put you now in two hundred thousand dollars of continual interest growing debt for the rest of your life and that's the issue the mm -hmm. debt that's the usury yep yep you're not supposed to exact usury upon the people but that's what yeah. this, this 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 devil does so that like you said that scam that's yeah they need they yeah. need um esau needs needs his hand and everything you know just like that just like i was saying that uh that big brother spirit you know he he basically um um he's he's basically uh uh uh, uh like a like a uh, a leech yeah you know he leeches on the people and you know that's that unjust ruler the wicked that's why how you know he's the wicked I got another precept it says ex it's uh Exodus one and um let's say let's get a nine. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come and let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it come to pass that when they are fallen out any war, when there falleth out any war, they join also unto their unto our enemies and fight against us, and so get them out up out of the land. Uh, about to say something. At the top of that scripture, he said, Let us deal wisely with them. Mm -hmm. um, so um, you know that's that's how they came up with these scams. Yeah, you know, yeah. To, to that's how they're dealing with our people word. wisely. You know, yeah, that bad word. Yeah, I, I was like, it's yeah. like you go. Oh, I got, okay, I got okay, a word okay. for you. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, because um, Esau, okay, like eagles, right? The scriptures consider um, it calls Esau the eagle, right? Mm -hmm. Well, eagles are called uh, um, are considered kleptoparasites, hmm. and that and, and, and what it means is like it's basically it's a bird, insect, or other animals. Which habitually robs animals of other species of food, because eagles are the type of animal that they're not gonna do most. They don't. They're not. I mean, they'll hunt, but for the most part, they're the type of animal that I'd rather wait for you to hunt and then just come take the shit from you. Oh yeah. So there's yeah. this. This this is a klepto parasitic society because that's what Esau is. Yeah. Esau will wait for you to do everything. I'm going I'm to wait for you to till that ground. I'm going to wait for you to plant the, 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 the yep. seeds, get the, then, then well, Jake, harvest it, and well, then Jake, I'm going to come in and take it from mm -hmm. Jake invented everything. That go, You know, that goes into Jake invented everything because Esau came in and, and took, you know, took those patents, mm -hmm. you know, yep. and made and made merchandise of it, you know, but that goes to show how low the Lord has brought our people because you know, hey, what well, the scriptures say, um, um, base men shall rule over thee. Yep. You know, Esau is is a is a deceptive, you know, uh, uh, thief, man. He's just a thief from the court. Yeah. Like lions aren't klepto parasites. Mm -hmm. They hunt. They hunt. They. And what, what is it saying? What do Jake say in the world? That's your kill. You do what you want with it. Mm -hmm. That's that's our spirit. Hey, bro, that's your woman. You do what you want with it. Hey, that's your land. You want to put, hey, you got some land out there? Hey, well, bro, you, right. you, whatever hyenas, you want to do with it. That's why the hyenas and the lions be beeping, because the hyenas are coming. They'll snatch up an old carcass from a lion. I feel like they earn, they deserve yeah. a piece. That's why they got to come mm -hmm. in packs. You know yep. what I'm saying? They come and take the lion food. The lion, like, man. I know? keep going. It says, uh. So he says with Jacob. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh treasures, treasure cities, Python and Ramses. And you know, in the time of Egypt, that's that was uh, you know, the Israelites basically building up Egypt. You know? Mm -hmm. yep. You know, building up the treasure cities, you know, which are the uh, uh you know, those pyramids and those different statues that uh that those Egyptians uh erected. Mm -hmm. But it says they set over them taskmasters, which is the same thing basically as as your uh your job managers, your yeah. job owners. Mm -hmm. You know, because they be cracking that whip everywhere you go. You know, see, Esau has created the system where you have to work. You have to work. If if you're not working, then basically you you can't sustain living. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta be. You gotta. You have to be a slave. There's nowhere where you can just go live for free. You know. And then you be on these jobs, and it, it, here it is. You could be the smartest person in that job, mm -hmm. but your boss will be just a 
just a retard. Like just exactly. mentally out of there. And that that's that's this that is just this wicked, evil society of how it rules. Even with us, mm -hmm. with you other nations, we're not gonna scam you. That's the difference. This mm -hmm. this society of slavery and how y'all have done us is a scam. But how we're gonna do you? Oh, you, you, we'll be you direct. We're gonna be direct with you. We're gonna tell you that who we are and who you are to us. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, and it's gonna be fair. Because why? You're gonna be able to rejoice because you're gonna to come to us and we're gonna teach you. Hey, this is how you can do this and be able to, you know, increase your 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 increase. Yep. You know, you gotta do this and do that. This is the, the trick to that. Mm -hmm. We're not scamming you out of anything. We're just gonna be solidified in our positioning. Yep. Yeah, because, you know, the system of taxation itself is not bad. It's just how Esau taxes right. He does a usury on you. He does a usury on you, yeah. you tight. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, tight. Yeah. But, you know, but, the, yeah. but the scriptures tell you, hey, when you tight, this is the reasoning for it. Mm -hmm. We just be paying taxes. And if you a ask the average Jake, hey, well, you know where your tax money's going to? Right. Hell nah, right. just right. the streets, schools. Right. They're going to tell you shit that they're just going to look around. Uh, hospitals, right, right? Probably not. <laughs> well, it goes. It goes to the uh, senators and politicians. <laughs> right, all that shit. Uh, let's see. Um, that was. Let me see. Uh, oh, uh, verse twelve. It says, "But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew." Mm -hmm. And that's that's why Esau uh, came out with this whole eugenics um, program. Mm -hmm. You know, basically to to limit. You know. The, uh, the, and that's why he had to separate you through gangs and different things of that nature because, you know, Israel is a, a you know, especially a, a, when you combine the tribes with with Gad. Mm. I mean, that's that's a that's a lot of uh, Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. So he had to separate you by race and separate you, you know, by uh, by um, region, and yeah. yeah, you know, region, region. zip codes, mm -hmm, zip codes, you know, different areas because he knows that together. You know that's that's why um this whole Black Lives Matter just like we said Esau controls that whole black Esau Esau created the whole Esau created black culture mm -hmm. you know Esau's the real black man <laughs> he really is yeah. he, he really is you know it says uh but the uh, it says but the more they afflicted them the more they gr multiplied and grew and they were greed because of the children of Israel. And the Egyptians made the Israel, the Slakia, uh, and the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and mortar and in brick and in all manner of service in the field. Mm -hmm. All their service, wherein they made them serve, Everything. was with rigor. Everything was hard. That's mm -hmm. why. That's why we struggle so much, because is uh, Egypt is just you know America, it's in in modern day times. Because yeah. that word Egypt means bondage. Mm -hmm. You know, Matazayim. You know, so it's like you got that um uh, uh you got that 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 spirit of just hardcore. That's how you know going back to the curses. That's how you know the Lord brought us here to serve out a prison sentence because yeah. you know ultimately, We're gods. Ulti yeah, exactly. We're mm -hmm. gods. Mm -hmm. Like to be a god, to the term, the word god, it literally means power. It means you're a power. So when you have power, that means you are creative. We're, we're all, every last one of us as an Israelite through the spirit is creative. Yeah, it has a in talent. One way, in one way, shape, or another, each and every one of us has a, has a talent. And the Lord gave us that talent. And that talent should be enough to sustain you in life. Mm -hmm. Oh, you make music? Oh, well, shit. That, that should, there shouldn't be so many steps in between there. But the Lord, has, he, has, he has basically demoted us to, like how you say, to just be a, we're slaves and we're, we're, we're prisoners. Mm -hmm. So everything has a, has a restraint on it, or you can't go that way. No, you can't do it that way. No, you got to shut down before this time. No, you got to pay more for this because you're doing mm -hmm. this. Because Esau understands he does not want, and which is, matter of fact, you, you still in the curses, bro? Yeah, uh, no, I dropped it, but I can go back go to back it. Go back to, um. Was it Chris? Shout out your, your storehouse beat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, like 16, 17. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because every step along the way, Esau has Esau knows how to keep up. What they got to cover the glass, that glass, cover. Uh, the glass ceiling. Because Esau got to keep you at a place. The last thing these devils want is all of us to be wealthy. Right. 
That's the worst thing you can have is wealthy slaves. No, yeah, you can't. You can't have that. All right. That's why uh, the the whole uh, Karen movement is so uh, so big because these Edomites feel like Jake Jake can't. Uh, that's why these Edomites be fucking with Jake when they be in certain areas. They be like, I'm calling the cops and shit because they feel like you know you, you niggas belong. is yeah you don't belong. You it's niggas, envy. It's envy. It's uh Deut this is uh Deuteronomy 28 and uh 16. This is, uh, it says, uh, Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shalt thou be, shall be thy basket and thy store. And that's the, mm -hmm. the, the city. We, Jake is definitely cursed in the city because, like, let's look at the homeless. Homeless is, is a part of the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at this world, how Esau is digitizing everything. Nobody thinks about the fact of, okay, the, like an application. Like, what the fuck is an application, man? Think about that. I gotta fill out an application to and, and then do an interview to work at your establishment. To work they, for time. To work for time. Mm -hmm. And then they're gonna ask you some dumbass questions of well, why do you wanna work here? And yada yada yada. That's 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 foolishness. Because why? It keeps a certain amount of people out of the workforce. Homeless people, how does a homeless person go in and fill out an application? What, what address is he gonna put on there? What's his callback number? Well he doesn't have a phone. Yeah, he doesn't have a phone What's to call, callback call him number? back. That's the scam of it, because it's like you gotta have how do you get a job? Like you said, how do you, how the hell do you get a job? You don't have no cell phone. You don't have a, a you know an address like you said to mm -hmm. get mail at. Mm -hmm. So if they call you back, present yourself. Mm -hmm. So be able to at least. That's another way that that, that they scam us out of work too. Yep. All right, what you you you, you got to come in with a suit and tie. Well, what if I'm broke? What if all I have? What if I'm the man for the job? But all mm -hmm. I have is this T-shirt and sweats. And that's, but, I, but I have the mind for the job. Right. And that term is called uh, systemic oppression. See? It says, uh, systemic oppression, it says, it's systematic and has historical and test. And, uh, let me see. It says, uh, let me go back to it. It says, systemic oppression is systematic and has historical antecedents. It is the. And intentional disadvantaging of groups of color. That's what they call redlining. Redlining, yeah, that was that was big in the. Uh, I, I want to say the the thirty. You know, it goes back. You know, uh, uh, about a hundred years, almost a hundred years, and it goes in like like what you said. They basically blocked out Jake from from buying uh, into certain real estate, certain areas, and then they restricted whites from from you know they they basically warned whites of warning uh, uh, of going in those areas. Cause they were black mm -hmm. you know so that's what systemic oppression is you know america is is it's a uh, caste system yeah yeah you know where you have you have the rich they you know they have their areas they you know they they have their uh uh certain um perks perks and and white privileges mm -hmm. you know but they you yeah. might have a like you take two people, you take an Edomite woman that's 25 and a black man that's 25, and you give them both that that black man. I promise you this. That black man, he'll have a $500. Let's say he had a $500 credit card, right? Mm -hmm. His minimum every month will be like $100 or $200 or something mm -hmm. like that. It'll be a high minimum payment, right? Yep. Whereas that same that Edomite, that white woman that's 25. Mm -hmm. She might have a five thousand dollar credit card, and she's only paying fifty dollars a month on it. Because why? And how, what? What is it? What? What was the changes there? It's that systematic racism. Yeah. Of basically, you 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 know how to identify us by social security numbers. Yeah, yeah social by um, oh, uh, uh, the uh, the name. Codes. That's why you said that application. You know, they 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 hire based off of uh, the name. You know, yeah, if it name, sounds if it name, sounds yeah. uh, if it sounds like a black name. Yeah. You know, you ain't Chances gonna get no job. Get no call back. Yeah, you ain't gonna get no job, no callback, you know. But yeah, that's that's that it's uh, called disenfranchisement, man. Disenfranchisement, and like you were saying about how Jakes, you have poor Jakes that have no opportunities. Well, look at the environment they had to live in. That's and that's goes into redlining. That goes into you know basically the the separation between the rich and poor. You know where you can't even you have homeless in, in the bad areas, and a lot of times it's just because they had lack of resources. Yep opportunities mm -hmm. that and that's why you eat a mice like you're not to be long on it but mm -hmm. you eat a mice 
you're out here and you're protesting against racism, but you don't even, you don't get it. You don't get the systematic uh, oppression that we as a people go through mm -hmm. from the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And then you have the nerve to, uh, matter of fact, can you get, can you get a quick one, a Joe mm -hmm. 20 and 10? Because these Edomites, they want to talk. Yeah, that's the, you can hold that, that, that James too. Mm -hmm. But you want to apologize for what's going on, but you don't even understand how, how majorly uh, this affects us and how much it benefits you by them keeping us down this way. Because you don't want to be, you don't want to be squared up with us, man. Mm -hmm. You don't want, you, you don't want to give us the same opportunities that you received because we're going to run with it. Mm -hmm. Pound for pound, age for age. You, you line us up, you cannot beat us because we are superior to you. Mm -hmm. That's just a fact. So you have to systematically destroy us. And then the, the, the idiocy of you is you're fighting the elite that tried to help you, you dumbasses. You don't want to be equal to us. Or not equal, but you know what I mean? You don't want a fair, fair belt board, man. Mm -hmm. You got that? Yes, uh, Job 20 and 10. His children shall seek to please the poor and his hands shall restore their goods. And that's all you're trying to do is just seek to please us, man. But the difference between us and the, and the, and the other counterparts of our nation that don't know who they are is we're not just gonna uh, melt. You're not. We're not just gonna. You're not gonna melt in our hand because you you uh, said you're sorry.